Hey, it's Heather Davis. It's another edition of Thursday, and I've got Megan with the Wake County Animal Center and a beautiful dog. I cannot get over how pretty he is. This is Zep, right? Yes, this is Zep. He is our resident old man here at the center. He's about 10 years old, and we're guessing that he is a like yellow lab, shepherd, husky, just, just some sort of mix uh, between kind of those three breeds. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, he's about 10 years old and uh, I think about like 50, 55 pounds. Mm -hmm. And so he's uh, a volunteer favorite. They love to take him out for walks. He's potty trained too. He's on our potty trained board. Yes. He'll let you know if he's gonna go, he definitely will. <laughs> vocalize hey pick me next please i really, I really gotta go <laughs> i got to go i got to go right. look right. at that face though what a sweet boy yes Hello, yeah, just for a little walk uh -huh. um take him on shorter walks because it's so hot out and because sure. he is estimated to be about 10 mm -hmm. um he came in as a stray so we don't really know his breed or his background or his story um so we take him on shorter walks uh, he is also heartworm positive for anyone who is interested in adopting him. Um, he does currently have heartworms. We've got him on heartworm prevention just to keep them from getting worse. Mm -hmm. um, but due to his age and his heartworm condition, he does have a variety of sponsorships. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's a staff favorite uh, and mm -hmm. a volunteer favorite. Everyone, everyone here just loves him. And so he does have $50 off of his adoption fee. He does have... I believe a $550 sponsorship towards his heartworm treatment. Mm -hmm. And he has a $300 sponsorship towards a dental just because with his age, oh, yeah. his teeth are just a little, just a little, you know, bad breath and some stuff. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he goes, whatever. I do my bad breath. <laughs> and, and now so, here's the thing about heartworms. I mean, they're not, they, they can, if they get, if they're untreated, they can, unfortunately kill a dog but yes. obviously you guys were able to catch it obviously he's being treated so it it's not a death sentence and i feel like a lot of people don't understand that that it, heartworm is you want to have them on prevention to keep them from getting them you don't want to let them get to the point where they're untreated completely but this is treatable it's a treatable thing he's got sponsors so that it would be something that if somebody were to, were to adopt him they'd be able to treat the heartworms and get the tooth the teeth is cleaned and he'd have mm -hmm. some good breath and he looks super mellow. I mean, he just looks like he wants to hang out. Yes. And that's another reason that we do take him on short walks because he's also what I would categorize as a mosier. <laughs> he does not want to go on hikes. He yep. doesn't want to go, you know, on these crazy outdoor. He doesn't want to be a runner dog. He doesn't want to go running or, or hiking or anything like that. I think he'd be into like fishing or camping because he could just lay in the boat or, you know, yeah. lay at the campsite you know, whatever he wants to do, but um, I would definitely categorize him as a mosier, a very kind of low energy dog. We've had him out to play group to have to just to see if, you know, how he is with other dogs. And mm -hmm. uh, I was told that he just wants to kind of coexist and hang out. He's not the rough and rowdy player. He's not the chaser. He just, you know, wants to kind of coexist and hang out. But if anyone's just looking for a buddy a all around good, mellow, you know, there's a lot of people with everyone going back to work, you know, people aren't looking for these high ener energy bouncing off the wall dogs. Yeah. They're looking for a nice dog that's going to lay around with you on the couch after work, hang outside with you by the fire, you know, um, you just hang next really to you dog. at the desk in your office. You know, if you're working from home and you're looking for one that'll just yeah. kind of hang out with you at the office, this sounds like your guy. Oh yeah. I think he, like I said, he came in as a stray. He had to have, a, you know, just a really great family um you know at some point that loved him because like i said he's potty trained he knows what a leash is he walks well on a leash besides just you know he wants to mosey and sniff everything and we kind of want to yeah. go <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's but, that, i mean he's he's perfect yeah he's i mean really and, and people people don't realize that there's a lot that goes into training a puppy there's a lot that goes into training a younger dog whereas he sounds like he's ready to go he's ready to go home with you yeah. and hang out and be your be your buddy Oh yeah, he is. He's, he's ready to go. He's ready to be adopted. He is here at the Wake County Animal Center um, on uh, 820 Beacon Lake Drive in, in Raleigh. Uh, we are right off of 540 uh, over here in East Raleigh and uh, Zeph is on our adoption floor right now. You can come meet him, come visit with him. Um, and he is just a fantastic, 
fantastic dog. What would people have to do to actually go in and adopt him? Is there a form they should fill out online? Are you guys are doing in-person adoptions now? You're not doing them virtually. Yes, if something we can come in. Yep, we're open to the public uh, every day uh, from noon to six. Our adoption floor is open every day, uh, excluding you know certain holidays. So definitely check our website um, ahead of time. I know Labor Day, um, even though it doesn't seem like it's too. Uh, like it's too close and it really is close. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> but, getting closer. Um, so major holidays, we are closed, but yeah, our adoption floor, noon to six, uh, seven days a week. Um, just come in, visit, you know, uh, go to our adoption floor, ask to visit with him. After you visited with him, you can go right up to our front desk and, and fill out all the paperwork and, and do everything you need to, to take him home and, and uh, have a really great dog. He seems like a sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Do you guys have any events coming up? Have you guys started planning anything now that things are starting to open up a little bit? Or are you guys still, you know, you guys are opening yeah, the six, We're in but... the process of um, opening up some of our rabies and microchip clinics that we haven't had in almost two years, just because Ooh. it's typically a uh, spring and a fall event. And in, in, in the spring of 2020, they all got canceled because of the pandemic. Yeah. And so um, hopefully September, uh, October and November, we will have a, a rabies and microchip clinic once okay. a month for all three of those months so check our website for those i know we've had people calling and asking when when we're going to be doing our vaccine and, and microchip clinics um so those should be hopefully coming up in the fall as for other events we don't really have anything planned right now um i think we're still waiting to see with everything um you know still kind of kicking around with covid uh how that's going to affect things but i'm hoping springtime we'll be back we'll be back in the saddle ready to go <laughs> with all of our usual events Zep. And uh, do you guys have any needs right now when it comes to supplies? Is there anything you guys are, are getting low on that you could use for donations? Yeah, we are. I'll just tell you right now, we are always low on dog treats, mm -hmm. especially like chewy dog treats, like kind of like pepperoni sticks, vegan strips, um, you know, things like that. Um, we also like to do like the little marrow bones or the mini milk bones, mm -hmm. um, because when we're walking dogs like that, it's just nice to be able to give them treats for walking nice, give them treats to, you know, um, keep their focus on us versus other dogs as they're walking by uh, to get them back in their kennel. Cause some dogs just, unfortunately, they, they don't want to go back in. They want to stay in the play yard. They want to yep. stay in the play group. They stay in the <laughs> and so uh, we can always use, uh, we all can always use a uh, uh, dog treat uh, for our dogs. We're always running low because our fantastic volunteers, they, they're always passing them out. Bring <laughs> the, the puppies. <laughs> awesome. Well, if your dog loves it, I'm sure the puppies at the Wake County Animal Center would love them as well. And Megan, thanks so much for taking the time. Oh, definitely. Thank you guys, as always, for having us. It's always Absolutely. a pleasure. Absolutely.